Casey any good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Then he had enough, right? <laughs> Don't need me? Huh? How good has he been in practice? He's been good. What I, I, I thought today was the best thing he did was, we, you know, we're putting a lot of new stuff in that they haven't done. And he, and he threw a pick. And it didn't let him bo it didn't bother him. That was a good thing. Knowing that, hey, we, we're trying to get a lot of reps and we're trying to with new things and we're moving on and, and a lot of installs and uh, he's really worked hard and all the quarterbacks have. So it, it's more my, my I got to be more patient. And, uh, you know, I used to having a guy that, that was in the system for three years and then all of a sudden it's all new. Even Casey's new. But I, I really like the way those guys are working. I, well, I like the way everybody's going about their business and uh, you know, it's only the, the fifth day, and it's the only fifth day we've had tape. So those guys have really, uh, the whole offense has gotten better and better as we've gone. And I'm, in, um, I'm more encouraged than I am discouraged. Logan had mentioned that last year they didn't do a lot of five step drops. Just what's the, I guess, what, what's it like trying to learn something new? Like yeah, it's just we're not many. It's just what I learned from the NFL. Just the things we didn't learn with. Uh, you know, with Andy Reid and, and uh, Philly and things that we've done that way. And it takes some time. You know, it's like it's, there's different drops. The, to me, the whole pass game is about footwork. So we're always talking about footwork. There's this one step, there's three step, there's three and a hitch, there's three plant, there's five, there's one four. So all those things, then you got play action. So, you know, and it, you're trying to get it to get it on tape, but I know that they're thinking a lot about it. And, and, uh, um, but once they see it, say, if your rhythm, if you've got good rhythm with your feet, then you've got a really good chance to, to be an accurate passer. And, and that's what we're working And Still, you know, Chin's doing a great job, which is really nice to see a bunch of different coverages in that way and where to go to. And we haven't had time to go back. We're trying to put a bunch of stuff down. And I know those the way these kids are, that they'll watch it over spring break. And, and then, um, you know, we've got one more day. We'll add some other stuff and then, uh, um, you know, just try to keep moving forward. How often do you feel like you call pass plays that you could describe as easily as run plays? Like pass plays that have functioned as run plays? Uh, yeah, there's stuff that way. I'm getting better. You know, we kept a lot of the same terminology. So the guys laugh at me because it just comes back what I called for the last eight years. So the formations and those things. So, um, y you know, it's just. You know, we'll have a scrimmage. We've had some two-minute drills that way, so it just kind of flows off. But, uh, you know, I've had to work at it, which it, I've had to do it before in different places that I've been and when I've changed jobs and systems. So uh, um, I think we've all adapted pretty well to it. How's the run game looking? Good. No, I like Coach, Coach Donnie's been doing a really good job. Coach Bryan's done a really good job. The, all the guys, the coaches have done a good job blocking the receivers downfield. So. I feel like there's a good mix, you know. There's a, there's a lot of good things. Obviously, if you can run the ball, it makes a big difference, especially down in the red zone was the first time we were down there. So there's some things I learned just from the tape and, you know, the angles of blocking and the blocking the secondary and know where the backs and where the safeties are going to fit. And a lot of times the backs got to be their own blocker on that safety. So there are some teaching moments today that will get cleaned up, uh, you know, tonight and tomorrow. No, I mean you can just tell his experience. He's been he's been well coached. Those guys that he had at Texas did a good job with him. You know, he's inquisitive, you know, which is nice. And and uh, you know, they may have done it a certain way before that he may fall back into, but you know, I'm I'm fairly open, you know, but uh, uh, he's going through his progressions, he likes it. He, you know, I like what I see, everything else and taking a lot of leadership and uh, did a nice job today in the two minute, all the two minutes he's done a good job. Today was one for a touchdown and uh, you know, and he's a, he's a little bit more mobile than you think, and uh, just trying to keep working. We haven't worked a whole bunch on scrambles. I think he'll get better as we work a little bit more on the scrambles. And learning the receivers in on air and the routes, and then you have to learn what they're like on a scramble drill, where they're moving and, and learning things that way. So that's that's an area that we'll we'll, we'll certainly will harp on when we get back uh, after the following week. You, you, you know, the, the, the best ones, I've been lucky. I'm not throwing my resume out there, but I just kind of like when I was at the Pro Bowl, those guys want to be coached. I mean, Peyton wants to be coached. Tom Brady wanted to be coached. Drew, those guys. It's the same thing here. There's not, there's, hey, there's always something. There's always something down the road, you know. That's, that can be frustrating for me because we, 
if you run one play, you really got to look at it at cover one, cover three, cover six, six buzz, quarters, quarter, quarter, half, zero blitz. We don't have the time yet. So their coach is giving us a little bit of things that way. So they're always learning. There's just more to learn in the game. That's the great thing about the game. I don't know it at all, and, and I've been around it a lot, but uh, there's things I learned. And there's things you learn from the quarterbacks. They're all a little bit different. And I don't call the game the same way for all of them. They'll all have a little bit different game plan of what they feel comfortable with. So that's why we like to have a lot of offense. And then, you know, you pair it down for those guys as, as they go rep-wise. A lot of teams don't go under center. Why do you think it's important to go under center? I, you know, I just, uh, I just go back to the old school. I mean, and, and I think it's hard for a, a quarterback. We, we want to get quarter, we want to recruit quarterbacks and we're going to tell them we're going to try to help them get in the NFL. And I've seen those guys that haven't gone under center. It's a long, and I've seen a lot of these high schools that haven't, high school guys. So it's still part of the NFL. Now, not as much as it used to be. You know, you never saw Steve Young go under center. You never saw Joe Montana. But, you know, it's, it's, it's part of the run game, especially the, the back has a chance for a better, more full spectrum run, I guess is what it comes yeah. down to. When you have the eye tail back and you're here, it cuts off part of it. So when you get the full spectrum of the zones, I think it helps in, in their landmarks. And, and I think it helps when, they, when, when NFL scouts see those guys on a tape. Uh, hey Mark, what's the outlook you have to Chubba back um, after, after Quinn Yeah, he should be fine. And, and so how has it impacted your ability to evaluate these guys when one piece of the puzzle um, hasn't been out there these first five? Well, we saw enough that we know he's a good player, you know, and, 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 and uh, I just do just, and he knows he's a tough guy because he went through all winter condition. He didn't say a word, and I said, "Now look, we can't do that. You got if you, you got some some problems, issues with your foot or something. Let us know so we can take care of it." So, but he's just so hungry to play, and that that part you know is a, is a good thing. I'd rather have that when than somebody's always in the training room. But uh, no, he'll be ready to go. And I was tempted. He said, I felt as good as I have. I was tempted when I just saw him in the hallway say, hey, let's get about eight, ten reps. But I'm not going to do that because he's got all the next spring break. And then he'll come back. And we got plenty of time. You know, we're not playing a game until, until late August. And, and uh, we'll have time when we come back. And then he got the summer. And then he got fall camp. So th there's more than enough time. Who's, who's the running back who's made the most impressive play so far? I think all those guys have gotten better. You know, all, all those guys. Uh, the whole group. I think it's a, it's a good group. We talked a little bit about them. I don't think one guy's ahead of the other. They got, all, got a little bit of different body type. They got a little bit of different thing. I think they've gotten a lot better catching the ball. Um, you're always concerned about new guys in protection. So worked hard there. We missed a couple things on third downs the other day where, where Chen gave us some good looks that we, we need to see where the backers overlap. So. Um, but I think we've got some guys that will be able to, you know, they're pushing the pile. And I said, Coach, Coach Donnie's doing a good job up front. And, uh, but you got to have a guy that can protect the quarterback in, in the we've things that we're doing. Had, yeah. We've had a couple of uh, offenses where you had a big back. Um, where does Jock Ant fit in at, at this moment? He's got a little bit of Jerome in him, you know. Not that he wasn't as big as Jerome. <laughs> but, no, I mean, you just, it's different styles. We're trying to give them all. Different things, and probably it's more after spring. Then we'll look at it and that things. And here's the things you do well. Here's the things that you you need to work on. But you know, uh, Ramirez done well. Anthony's done well. Cooper, there's guys that have hit things that way. So we just haven't had enough time to go back. I go back and watch the tape. But like you're building a library. It's it's we're out recruiting. I'll be looking at it in that way. Then we get summer. Here's the things we need to do and work on that way. And uh, and that's what I've been in, in, encouraged about is that these kids are looking at the tape. They're seeing it at night. They're coming back. They got good questions. And uh, and when you know they start to get it is when they start having more answers than questions. They know they made a mistake. And we're not at that point right now as an offense. So, they're you know, we're coaching them everything else. As soon as they know, like, right away, I know I, I missed the cut. I saw the things that way. That, that That's when you know. And that, that just takes time. Yeah, those guys, they can all run. They run pretty, they run well. They made some plays. They're getting better after one day of tape and one-on-ones. I saw a major improvement, you know, with, with uh, I think we've got to get better at the top of the routes. All right, we got guys that can run and their angles and everything else. And we try to teach the receivers 
through the quarterback, what they're seeing, the same thing, what they're expecting, and all the things that way. I think that's what what I learned in the NFL. It's each guy's and each guy's a little bit different, and we don't want to take away those or no no we don't want cookie cutters, but angles of of curl routes or in routes or things at the top. I just saw a major improvement stacking on go routes, on uh, where staying in the red line. I thought those things Coach Joseph and Coach Cassano have done a really good job in, in the. As the quarterbacks mentioned today in the meeting, we were watching the one-on-ones, how much better they've gotten on certain things. Omar Manning is a slot receiver. Uh, I mean, you're kind of trying him at slot. How does that picture look? Yeah, he's been good. He's been really good. You know, he's, he'll play outside and inside. So we we'll try to, you know, we one week we may say, hey, you're an X, you're a Z, letting them play both sides. Because then, you know, we want those guys running hard, so we need depth and we need, you know, guys to know more than one position. What, what's, what's the advantage? Well, it's, it's more that he can run. You know, he's big. It's, it's also it has something to do with the run game and the blocking. But, I mean, you're getting him on safeties. You're putting him on linebackers where he can bounce and he can uh, get over the top of those guys. And he's been he's been really impressive inside. Friday scrimmage, uh, what, what, are you, what are your priorities? What are you looking for most? Do a better job with ball security, you know. Like, we'll play it as the first game, as I say. So, like, if it's third and ten and the first drive, we're not – yeah, I'd, I'd like to say we're going to go third and make it, but don't turn the ball over. Don't, don't you know, hey, we'd like to get a f- touchdown the first drive, but may not throw it as much or take a chance that way, is get out of it and play a clean game, play a c- clean scrimmage, especially early on, and then uh, know when you can take some chances. You know, we want to be aggressive, and however you term aggressive, whether it's a run game or a pass game, but um, you want to have a clean game with without – the ball on the ground is, is basically what you look for in the first one. Not to see an adjustment for, for all of your quarterbacks, but for the guys that were here when you got here, Logan and Heinrich, how have you sort of seen them pick up the, the different year style of coaching and, and the offense? Probably got to ask them. <laughs> I think sometimes they like me, though. Sometimes they don't understand my humor in that way. But uh, no, nah, they're great. It's been fun. Like that. I, I, so I said, yeah, it's important, and I get upset, but hey, we got to have some fun. We got to have some laughs. You meet a lot with the guys. We meet with the quarterbacks more than anybody because they're not in special teams. So they've been a really good group, and I've seen them grow. I've seen them relax. You know, we're working on the footwork and the rhythm, you know, and I think one of them asked me the other day, Coach, like, what do you mean with rhythm? And I said, well, look at you. You're all uptight. You know, those things, you got to get in the flow, everything else. You got to be a dancer back there. You got to, those things, you got to see the pressures. Teaching them to throw into pressures, into man pressures. Teach them in zone pressure. What do you mean those things? So they've been they've been really good, and uh, I said it's been it's been been fun to me to see their growth in just a short period of time. Hey, great, great to see you guys.